Ruti of Ruti K's. Welcome to so much talk, SEW talk. Um, talking about sewing and different aspects of what it is to sew. Today, I came with my husband to a doctor's appointment. So this is my beautiful little Volvo car that you'll get to hear me talk in. So very exciting. And we have a little bit of snow. That's a little too much excitement. But hey, it's all right. It's not sticking. Life is good, right? Anna over there is having 80 degree weather to 19 degree weather. You know, she just is going in extremes where she's at. We're not boring over here. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about custom and what custom means and the custom sewing seasons. Custom is when something is created from nothing. And there's custom and there's customization. Custom is making it from scratch. We start at the idea and we, we can build it up um, using a pattern you have, using a pattern that is made for you. Custom is making your thing. Customization is taking something that's already made and creating something different out of it. So if I'm customizing your wedding dress, I'm making your wedding dress. If I'm I mean, if I'm sorry, I said that backwards. If I'm custom made, if you have a custom dress, I'm making your wedding dress. If I'm customizing your dress, I'm changing your dress somehow. I'm taking something that's not there and putting it in. Um, if I line the back of your dress, that's a customization. If I add sleeves, that's a customization. Because we're not changing the essence, the basic dress. If we're changing the whole basic dress, then that's another thing. That's a, a remake. I'm trying to think of the words that are currently in use. I've been sewing for a long time, and so words are used a little differently. Because you'll often see a seamstress say, uh, or ad for a seamstress that says that they cut, that this is a custom dress. And they're talking about doing customizations on a dress that was already made versus uh, making them a custom dress from scratch all to themselves. So these are, are changes that have been used in ads for what's being done. So if you want somebody to make you a dress from scratch, you need to just say, hey, can you make dresses from scratch? Can you start from my idea and make me a dress? Instead of trying to use these terms because they, they mean different things to different people. But technically, customizing is adding something to something that's already there. And custom is making it from scratch. And those are technical terms, okay? How we use them is how we use them. Then um, with that, it takes a different amount of time. If I'm custom making you a dress and you call me and say, can you custom make me something? I'll say, yes, of course I can. Um, which not every seamstress or sewer, I guess the new current term is sewist, can. So you need to be sure that they know what you're talking about. I, I would say, of course I can. And then you're going to come to me and I'm going to be ready to draw you up a pattern. We're going to sit here and talk and I'm going to draw up a sketch and and you're going to bring me a dress because you want me to line the sheer back of it or the sheer front of it. So here we're just needing to get our words clear so we each know what we want the other person to do. Okay. With that, though, there's a different timeline for customizing and custom making things. If I'm custom making you something from scratch, it's going to take three to four months or more, depending on the item, okay? 
if I am customizing something, it's going to take me longer than 14 days usually. And it's the time frame may be a month. And again, it depends on how much customizing you would need done, plus how much alterations you'd need done on top of the customizing. So the time frames can vary. If we're talking a straight alteration, I usually do those within 14 days. If we're talking a customization, that's going to be closer to four weeks. If we're talking an actual custom item, the chances are it's going to take three months. One, it takes that long because we have to get the fabric. Right now, since COVID, getting fabric is not always easy. It depends on where you live. It depends on how many fabric places you have that you can go to. It depends if you have to order it online. And then it depends on where it comes from. If it comes from Europe or it comes from China or India, it's going to take a little longer. If it's already in the United States from a warehouse, it'll take a little shorter. And we don't always know where it's going to come from. So that's part of why it can take longer in making custom items or customizing something where I have to match a fabric. So those are the biggest things about making something custom. The other thing about making something custom is you're going to want to look at the timeline of seasons. If you want a suit for fall, when are you going to have to start making that suit? If your wedding is going to be in June, when do you need that wedding dress started? In these two examples, if you want it for fall, it's going to take me about three to six months, depending on how quickly we can get the fabric to make that for you. And we're going to have to start three to six months before you want your item. So you have that, that's where the timelines differ from alterations. Okay. If you want a custom wedding dress, you're going to need to start a year to minimum of six months ahead of time, depending on how elaborate this dress is. Okay. If you just want a pair of pants, we can probably do a pair of pants for you in a month, but again, it depends on the fabric you want. So all of that has to be taken into consideration. So a pair of pants, a shirt, we're talking one to two months, a single item. When we're talking something big, like your dress for the prom or a gala, you minimum of six months. Okay. And part of that is because you're not the only thing we're working on. And part of that is to get all the supplies to make your pattern, to take your measurements, to have multiple fittings. I just made a suit for a gentleman who is not in your standard size. And we did that in three months and he had like eight fittings. Okay. So again, it depends on what we need to do, how we need to do it, how quickly we can make that item for you. Once we get a pattern for you, say we're making you just a wardrobe and you have a pair of pants and we make this pair of pants. The first time we're going to be measuring you and making the pattern and getting the fabric and making the pants. The second time, unless you've changed size, so now you want a second pair of pants. And this is only, say, three months down the line. You haven't gained more than 15 pounds. Life is good. You call up and you say, hey, Ruthie, I want a new pair of pants. This is the color I want them. I probably already have fabric for you, but we may have to get together and get fabric. And then I can make that pair of pants in probably a month. Because we already have your personal pattern to go off of that. So that is the basic timeline for customizing or for custom work. Customizing falls in a little different category. It's more of an alteration, but it's 
got more to it. You still have a lot of the delays in getting um, uh, supplies and everything. Yes. And it's matching mm -hmm. what you want. We have to find something that matches in color or contrasts in color that you like. Um, uh, customization that we do all the time and it's pretty simple and it falls within the alterations category timeline usually of about 14 days is when we add corset backs mm -hmm. to things. And that's because most corset backs are going to be in white or ivory. If we have to get a specific color, that may be something else and that may not be an option for you. So do be aware of that. If you want a colored corset back, I personally do can and do often make the whole thing. So I'm just looking for fabric. But a lot of people will try and order them, and they do come in many colors, but they're going to be pretty standard. So if you have a soft, dusty rose dress that needs a corset back, and it's a dusty rose more towards the orange than the pink, and we don't have a lot of that out in the fabric world, we may look at a contrasting color. Do you, do you want to put an ivory in there? which would look very nice, but it's definitely a contrast. What is the second color of the wedding that you're in as a bridesmaid? Um, so these are the options that we, we look at and they can take a little longer is finding that color and then getting it. Um, so that's customizing your dress, adding sleeves to your dress is also another thing that we would normally do within 14 days to 30 days. Um, again, depending on fabric, applique, how elaborate you want your sleeve to be. And we take that measurement and we would literally add it to your dress, adding a lining to your dress. That's a customization. And again, it falls in that category between alterations and uh, custom as far as how long it's going to take me to do that, that item. The other thing is, and I said this before, but you are not the only customer that I work with at a time. So part of the length of time frame has to do with how many other customers I have in, how long it's going to take me to do your particular item, and how long it's going to take me to do the other customer's items and when they need it, when you need yours, all of those are taken into consideration when you're given a date. So that's a complicated simplification, simplification <laughs> of custom and customization and how it differs from a normal alteration of just taking up your hem, adding a bustle, bringing in your sides adding the sleeves that come from, they're already pre-made and they come from your bridal consultancy. So that's a basic timeline of custom and the difference between custom and customization. Anything else I should add in there, Anna? No, I can't think of anything off top of my head. I was trying to think of any specific projects we had other than um, the one, the three-piece suit you just finished. Four, four-piece suit. We made oh, the shirt. Four, oh, that's right. That's right. Four-piece mm -hmm. suit. Shirt, vest, jacket, uh, and pants. Now here at Ruthie K's, you do custom works for any kind of clothing, correct? Correct. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we've done everything. I knew, I knew our people that do pants and shirts. Yeah. Not everybody does a suit or a wedding gown or a ball gown. You've even done um, some costumes for a few special events, too. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. I think that pretty much covers it. Okay. So that's customs and customizations and their timeline of how long it's going to take. And the very simplistic, simplistic piece of what we do. In our next one, we'll talk about the process of how that all works. This is Ruthie and Anna of Ruthie K's Inc.